Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing good. Nikash Shahzad back with another excited video today. So as you know, these days everyone is talking about AI, AI. So today I'm gonna show you how you can render your 3D scenes with AI power tool with really simple tool. I don't give you a complex like you need to do this. No, I show you how the easiest way you can render your simple scene without adding a texture or light with few. Just give the few text so you can get the result let me show you the example what i mean so as you can see here this is a simple screenshot from the sanma 4d like this one i just take a simple screenshot of this uh, viewport and just render it with ai let me show you different examples so take a look at this one so this is an experiment that fires look little bit like off so i just give a text prompt so glowing crystal with mountain background new york that's it that's what i give it this one i also glowing mountain oh uh, sorry glowing crystal with destroyed building on the back chocolate bars and let's take a look another example this is the simple letter with fractures and that's boom snow with concrete letter that's it take a look at this one letters on the mountain so take a look uh, letter in the snow with mountain like that I don't remember the prompt I will show you later on take a look at this one letters on mountain for this one how powerful is that simple without any texture just click like that and you get this result in few seconds it depends on your graphic card you must have good graphic card for using ai tools so must like rtx uh, above than rtx 2000 so look at this one boom this one this one this one this one that's all generated with ai it's like like, like two seconds to three seconds to render generate it with my workstation but right now i'm using my laptop so maybe it's take more time so let's talk about which tools you need how and how you can install them so first of all you need to install swarm UI so let me show you how you can do it I mentioned all the link in description just take a look so click on link so scroll down uh, you find the installation instruction so just go down and you don't need to follow these two steps so because you need to it's a requirement to installing but if we run the automatic installer for swarm ui they automatically install these two software just skip this step no need to install it from there just skip it and go back so just away click on the install windows pad file download this file and open this and open this for open the downloading folder copy and paste it inside the folder where you want to install stable UI so I will install it here just paste that's it just run the installer it take like 10 to 20 minutes you must have good internet and good graphic card minimum RTX to 2030 or 2060 so that's the minimum requirement so just wait it take like 30 minutes because they need to download few files and everything okay so everything is starting package so just wait so installation is finished now it's open web browser so that's the main step click on agree you just like just install because I already have everything so I choose customize settings but you can just click on just install and next choose your favorite theme just yourself on this PC so there is bunch of option so if you don't have comfy UI just click on comfy UI one I already have it so I will select non custom choose later so but if you don't have just like the comfy UI so here you need to have at least one model so that's the model where you render it so select any of them if you I will show you later which model I use and you can download it later also as you can as you want so if you want to skip it just skip it click on next yes I'm sure install now 
so after click on that everything is good so i will connect my comfy ui as a backend so go in server backend so i will install comfy i already have comfy so i just attach my comfy ui with backend so just because if you choose uh, if you install comfy manually then you need to do this step otherwise they automatically do everything for you because so after installing swarm ui you need to install uh, so i already show you so you will get this comfy workflow let me show because it's not look like this on your screen it's look like more like this so and you click on comfy workflow so basically uh, the swarm ui is not a generator so it's give you really powerful interface which you can use a comfy workflow through these all buttons so you don't do uh, you didn't go through you don't so you don't need to go through all these nodes and add uh, every stuff so just simply you can use it with this so that's why swarm ui is the one of the best option for me after installing comfy uh, uh, swarm ui and comfy you need to install control net for installing control net the easiest way just first download the comfy manager so how you can install comfy manager click on the link under description i mention all the links for comfy manager go on this link and simply download this file download dot bat just click over here okay if you get this problem don't worry just simple open your comfy ui installation folder it look like this so it's uh, because i already installed it separately so that's why i have if you go in stable swarm ui you find here comfy folder so i have here separate just open this folder comfy ui custom nodes and right click sorry right click show more open in terminal so for all of this you must have uh, what we say python you need to install python so right click git clone copy and paste here just click enter that's it that's it after that after the installation just restart the server click here and restart all back end after restarting you get this button here manager just click on manager and install custom nodes just click on install custom node and type control net control net so you can install this one control comfy ui advanced control net just click on install and restart it again that's it so after installing control net go back here generate so let's now prepare our scene which we gonna render it so oh, sorry we forget the main step we need i'm using this uh, model for render all of these uh, thing you can experiment with another different model there is a lot of models on the internet right now available but this is the best for me so let me show you and just download it from here just click on download and paste inside the mo uh, model file model folders after that we just going to select this model and now we go back to cinema 4d let's prepare our scene so okay what we do what we do let's take this example again so first of all the main step just avoid any uh, these arrows or grid just go on uh, sorry filter just select geometry only make it bigger take a screenshot like this go back in swarm ui click on check the control net open it so click here control v so after that you uh, you must need to download the comfy 
control net models After uh, installing the Swarm UI and Comfy workflow, you need to install the Comfy Manager for better Comfy Manager and Control Comfy Control Net and Control Net model. So let me show you how you can do that. So just click on the link under description for Comfy Manager. Just scroll down. If you scroll down, just download this all file. Or the simplest way, what you can do here, go in comfy UI for installation folder just click on comfy UI again find the custom node folder right click show more open in terminal so after that just go down just copy this link for installation you get all the method here they mention everything so if you have any problem just come and go I try to fix it I'll help you out so right click and paste it there just click enter hit enter that's it that's the step for downloading the comfy workflow so let me show you so as you can see here first uh, that's the first look of comfy workflow when you open it in swarm ui so basically swarm ui is not a self uh, image generator uh, swarm ui needs some th some kind of backend they can use API or some kind of like I'm using comfy workflow it's totally running on my local machine through my graphic card so you must have good graphic card like minimum RTX 2000 so after installing comfy manager you find this button here manager now we need to install control net just click on install custom node so it's take few second just type here is in search bar control net and you find few of these control net but I recommend just download comfy advanced control net just I already installed it that's why it's showing try update so in your uh, site it's showing like install just click on install restart it that's it now you need to download control net models for control net models I also mentioned the link under description you can download the old but we gonna use only the depth model because we need the depth of our 3d scene so like this one just download this one and paste inside the model file so how you can do that custom node go back in comfy ui folder go in comfy ui models and here you find control net just paste it there for control net models so last step but no least so you need to download I'm using this uh, model for rendering my all AI image generation DynaVision XL I already mentioned the link in description it's like 6 GB you can use uh, you can try different 3d model oh sorry different AI model but this is the best working AI model for me that's why I'm showing you so let's take a look go back to our swarm let me show you how you can now do uh, render your 3d scene so let's take our any 3d scene so let's see what we take uh, not this one this one oh sorry not this one let's go with this one so first of all just go in option uh, filter and just click on geometry only because we don't need any grid or anything just simple take us a screenshot like that and go into swarm UI and control net control V here just paste it your screenshot here or just choose the file from your computer control net processor we are going to use depth so we just click on depth anything processor and control net model we are going to use refuser excel depth this one which we download from the previous link now we select our model so we are going to use China vision click on that just make sure your uh, 
resolution match with your image resolution so if you want to get good result otherwise they stretch or crop your uh, image so let's go there in resolution just select it custom when you add image in control net they give you the exact size of your resolution uh, image so it's 1226 with 1226 by 908 so we just do it so now you get the exact same result so first of all we need to check our depth click on preview now as you can see here uh, process is uh, start so it's just generating the 3d depth map for this one so it's depend on your PC only uh, on your graphic card if you have good graphic card it just take few seconds if you have like slow graphic card like my laptop so it's gonna give you like little bit hard time you must have like RTX 3060 it's gonna really good so let's wait 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 so as you can see here you get this depth map so you can increase the strength here if you like or you can just go with this one it gives you really good result so let's now give the prompt what kind of rendering we want so let's add living room with chair and glowing tube light if you want them to just tell uh, tell the AI it's a tube light they automatically judge which one is tube light which one is chair that's the power of AI and if you want cinematic light obtain render and uh, what we say more run wallpaper if you want like bluish or okay, dark blue color wallpaper with texture let's see what result we can get just click on generate now so as you can see here it starts generating so it's again depend on your graphic card so sometimes it takes like few seconds as you can see here it's processing here so you need to wait a few minutes if I render it with my RTX 39 uh, 3080 so it take like two or uh, like four or five seconds only but I'm using my laptop it's only RTX 2000 and it's laptop so on laptop you can imagine how difficult to use any thing so 